Hey, you guys. How's it going? Happy Wednesday. I'm really happy to be here on my mat with you. Um, today we are doing a power flow level two and we are gonna work into our hips and our hamstrings. I went on a big hike yesterday, so I have really sore hips, really sore hammies. So we're gonna do a lot of lengthening, a lot of flexibility work, and of course it is power flow, so we're definitely gonna get our strength training in as well. All right, so let me know if you can hear me. Throw me a thumbs up, throw me a heart action, something like that. I'm gonna go ahead and go here on the Ascent Studio Facebook page to make sure that I am all good and set up for you guys. Da, 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 da. Sweet, looks like I'm good. All right, so what we're gonna need on our mats today is maybe two blocks. I'm gonna bring two blocks. We're getting into some kind of split stuff. And if you don't have blocks, no biggie, you can kind of pile up some books or you can use an Amazon box, your choice. Um, so we're gonna use two blocks. If you're like me and you get really sweaty, I would grab a towel, a water, and then we'll go ahead and get started in a seat at the back of our mats. Oh, hey Bean. All right, so coming into a seated position, you're gonna bring your hands onto your knees and we're gonna close our eyes. Starting to tap into our body. Take some nice deep breaths. Slow inhale through the nose, fill up. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Again, like that slow inhale, filling up. Open mouth, exhale, release. With your exhales, releasing any lingering tension, any lingering thoughts of the day, any anxiety built up around your practice. Start to let it go, tapping into your heart center, tapping into your breath, the sensations happening in your body. Let this next hour be about you. Let this be about your movement, your body, your breath, the connection of the mind, body, spirit. Take one more breath like this, big inhale through the nose, fill it up. Open up, exhale, let it go. Inhale, start to blink your eyes open. And our exhale, we're gonna bring our left hand down to the mat beside us. You're gonna bring your right arm up and over to the left. So stretching through that right side body. Maybe your left forearm even comes down to the mat. If your left arm comes down to the floor and you got a right hip lifting, try to draw that right hip back down to the mat. Stretching through the left side. And then on our inhale, we're gonna open up the shoulder. Find rotation in your chest. You might start to lift that elbow off the mat. Open up, draw elbow down your back. Look up. And then exhale, rotating the opposite way with our rib cage, pulling elbow to elbow, chin to chest. Again, like that, inhale, open up, twisting from the belly button up. And then exhale, closing it down, drawing the elbow in. Hold here, chin to chest. Maybe you kind of hook your elbow into the side of your leg. And then you're gonna walk your fingertips out reaching to your left side, getting that stretch all down your back, that left or right oblique, right low back area, hold here. And you're gonna walk your hands back around to the center. Taking a forward fold, waking up through the hips. Walk your hands back in towards your body. Find your seat, and we'll get it to the other side. Bring your right hand down to the mat. Bring your left arm up and over. Maybe your right forearm comes down to the mat. That feels okay. If it does, draw that left hip down. Make sure you're not getting a lot of lift. Stretching through that left side. On your inhale, start to press into your right hand, lifting your left right elbow off the mat. Open your shoulder, open your chest, rotate open. And exhale, rotate close, contract, elbow to elbow, chin to chest. Again, in, 
and not opening up. Gaze comes up. And exhale, closing and twisting. Hook your elbow to your knee or your thigh. Hold for a breath. Then walk your hands out to the right. Getting that stretch in the low back. All through the left side. Draw your left hip down. Start to walk your hands over to the center. Forward fold. Couple breaths here. I'm gonna take a couple more because this is feeling really good on my sore hips. If you wanna take a couple more here, take a couple more here. The beautiful thing about practicing from your living room is you can stay in poses a little bit longer than I tell you to without falling behind in class. Your inhale, start to walk your hands in towards your body. Bring your hands to your knees. We're gonna find a cow pose in a seat. So you're gonna press your belly out, squeeze your shoulder blades together under your back, lay your head and neck, fall back. And then exhale, you're gonna draw your chin to your chest, round through your spine, lean back so your knees lift. Get that resistance going. Feel that stretch along the back of your neck, upper back. Inhale, cow belly presses out, chin and tailbone lift. Exhale, cat round down. One more like this. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale back to center. You're going to start to walk over your knees, making your way onto all fours for tabletop position. Toes can be tucked or flat on the floor, whatever you prefer. From here, find anything that feels good. If you want a few more cat cows, you can take a few more cat cows. If you want to round through the spine, barrel roll through your back, you can do that. If you want to walk your hands over to the right, set your hips to the left. Whatever you do on one side, make sure you do it on the other side as well. Stretching out all sides. We did skip our child's pose today, so maybe use it back into your child's pose. Knees out wide, forehead to the mat. Find a couple more breaths here just to warm up your spine. Oh, I forgot to mention, you guys may already know this, but if not, all of my playlists are public on Spotify. So if you're looking for some yoga music, you're missing my funky tunes, then go to Spotify. My username is Megan of the Moon, M-E-G-A-N of the Moon. And if you just search that in the search bar, you'll find all of my playlists and you can choose any of the yoga ones that'll work. All right, so wherever you are, making your way back to tabletop, you're gonna draw your knees together, untuck your toes, sit up and back onto your heels. I really have, I also have really sore kind of ankles, calves, feet areas from my big hike yesterday. So we're gonna stretch through that front side. So you're gonna bring your hands down behind you, and then you're just gonna oh, lift your knees. This one feels good in a weird way. <laughs> Those ankles get a little bit sore, start to rock back and forth. And take your last one here and start to make your way back to your tabletop position. Draw your knees together to touch. You're going to extend your left leg long behind you. Ground down with your left hand. Extend your right arm out in front of you. Core is on. Find your balance. Grip into the five fingertips. Take an inhale. Exhale, you're going to open your arm and leg out to the side. Hip abductors. This is tricky. Use your core, hold for the inhale. Exhale, let your left foot come down to the mat and you're gonna rise up. Once you rise up, you're gonna slide your left arm down your left leg. Reach your right arm up and back, up and over. Taking a gate pose, stretching through that right side. Inhale. And exhale, you're gonna bring your hands back down to the mat. 
And we're coming into kind of a one-legged frog pose. So you're gonna tuck your right toes, and then you're gonna slide your left leg out. Forearms to the mat, just for a breath. We're gonna come here again in a little bit. And then make your way back into your tabletop position. Send your right leg long behind you. Ground down with your right hands and your left arm out in front of you. Turn your core on, inhale. Exhale, open up to the side, left arm out, right leg out, hold for the breath. Then bring your right foot down to the mat, sit on up. Slide your right arm down your right leg, left arm reaches up and over, gate pose, couple breaths. And exhale, bring your hands to the mat, tuck your left toes if they're not already. Drop your forearms to the mat, let your right foot slide out to the right. We're gonna hold it here in our flow, so we're just here for a moment on this one. And make your way back to your tabletop position, and then take this off. I feel like this is gonna bug me. All right, so back into our tabletop position, tuck your toes. Turn your core on, take an inhale, and exhale, downward facing dog. Lift your hips high and back. Down dog is yours to explore, as always. Maybe you pedal out your feet. Maybe you just find stillness, drawing heels to the mat. Whatever you need here. Spread your fingers out nice and wide. Try to take roundedness out of your spine, pressing your belly towards your thighs. Again, gripping into all 10 fingertips. Hips or feet should be about two fists to hip width distance apart. And if you're wondering about the alignment of your down dog, shift forward into a high plank. A lot of times I see this. If your shoulders are way over your fingertips, walk your hands out just a little bit so your shoulders are more over your knuckles, and then press back to your down dog. It'll feel a little bit different, but this is where you want to be, nice and long in the hamstrings. From here, you're going to step your feet up, and you're going to widen your stance. We're gonna reach opposite hand for leg. So reaching your right hand towards your left leg for whatever you can find, calf, ankle, heel, really gripping down with that left hand, stretching through the left hamstring. Hold for a breath. And then bring your right hand down to the mat, really grounding down, gripping into your fingertips. Reach your left hand for the outside of your right leg. And bring your left hand back down to the mat. Come back into your original downward facing dog. Inhale, lift up onto your toes. Take your gaze forward. Exhale, walk your feet behind your hands. Ragdoll Utanasana. Bend through your knees right away. Grab onto opposite elbows, looking between your legs. Make this about the spine instead of the hamstrings. Bend your knees as much as you need to. Nod your head yes. Shake your head no, maybe sway the elbows left and right, if that feels good. Maybe you release your fingers down to the mat or interlace them behind your head. And then drop your fingers to the mat, heel toe your feet back together to touch. Big toes to touch, sliver space between your heels, slight bend in your knees. Inhale, slowly roll up, one vertebrae at a time. Your chin is going to stay on your chest until the very end. Once you reach the top, roll your shoulders back once. Bring your arms out to your side, palms facing forward. Close your eyes. Find a nice, rounded, centered stance. Even though we're cutting off our sense of sight here, grinding down with all four corners of your feet. Pull your kneecaps up, squeeze your inner thighs. Tuck your tailbone, turn your core on. Drop your shoulders down your back. Inhale, mountain pose, Tadasana. Option to open your eyes or keep them closed, but your arms are going to rise up. Pinkies facing forward, shoulders still down your back, lower body still on, core still on. Inhale, blink your eyes open. Exhale, baby back, and calf just out your arms, squeeze your shoulder blades, nudge your hips forward. Let the lift come from your chest instead of dumping into your low back. 
squeeze through your backside body. Inhale, rise up, mountain pose, Sadasana. Exhale, forward fold, hands come to heart center, ride your exhale all the way down to your mat. From here, step your left foot back for low lunge. And then find any additional movement that you need, anything that feels good. Maybe you drop your back knee, go over your right shoulder. And then from here, you're gonna drop your back knee. And we're gonna make our way straight into our half splits. So if you have your blocks, you might want your blocks for this one. You're gonna straighten out through your front leg, front toes are gonna to flex. Bending through the elbows, you're gonna draw your nose to your knee. Keeping your hips high. Maybe inhale, finding length and exhale, rounding out, just deepening into that hamstring. Spoiler alert, we're going to get into splits later. I know it's your favorite. <laughs> so get into those hammies. Maybe you tick tock your toes left and right. And then from here, you're gonna let your toes fall over to the right, and you're gonna walk your hands to the right of your right leg. The floor might be a little bit hard to reach here. If that's the case, bring your hands to your block, or your books, or your pillow, or whatever you're using. And again, finding a little forward fold, squeezing through your inner thighs. Not out here for a while, I know this is a tricky one. And then we're gonna go the opposite direction, walking your hands over to the left of your leg and all the way to the side of your mat. Right toes will come down. And your left toes are gonna pick up and come to the long side of your mat. So now you're facing this side and we're gonna do that same thing that we did at, out of our tabletop. So you're gonna come down to your forearms and you're gonna let your right foot slide out to the right. Your toes will stay down on the mat. Your left toes are flexed. You're just gonna sit your hips back. Like you're doing a half frog pose. Getting into that hammy. Maybe you shift forward and back here on this one. And start to rise back up onto your hands. Walk your way back into your half split. Inhale, find length. Exhale, round out, knee to nose. Inhale, walk your hands forward, bend through your front knee, low lunge. Exhale, high plank, plant your palms, step your feet back. Coming straight into our chaturanga. You guys might already know this, so come with me. If you don't, take a knee, watch, or take the first one on your knees, whatever you wanna do. Starting in our high plank, inhale, we're gonna shift forward onto the balls of our feet. Exhale, lowering to mid plank. Your elbows stay tight in by your body, squeezing your ribs. Elbows to shoulders, long line. Inhale, upward facing dog, flipping to the tops of our feet. We have four points of contact, so our thighs are off the mat, kneecaps pulling up. Exhale, down dog, using your core to lift your hips high and back. That's our chaturanga. We'll do a few of them today. So option to take the push up on your knees to focus on your alignment. Option to skip the push-up, just going from high plank to down dog. You can take a child's pose in there. You can take extra push-ups if you're feeling super strong. Whatever you want to do. All right, back into your downward facing dog. Take an inhale through your nose. Open mouth, exhale. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, travel to the top of your mat. Slight bend in your knees, a little different this time. Inhale, reverse swan dive, up to Tadasana and pose. Arms out to your sides, and all the way up. Exhale, baby back bend, hack the side of your arms. Maybe you take it a little deeper. Inhale, rise up, Tadasana. And exhale, forward fold, hands to your heart center, writing your breath down. Bring your hips to the mat, step your right foot back for a little lunge, and then stretch it out. Anything you need, anything that feels good. Lots of hips, lots of hamstrings today. We're getting into, uh, I mean, all my classes are pretty challenging, I would say. But at the same time, anybody can do them. I'll offer modifications so it feels hard. 
Um, we can modify it down a little bit. And I am teaching a restorative class right after this, back to back. So if you feel like you need to stretch it out after, we absolutely will. Make your way back to your low lunge, drop your back knee, coming straight into our half splits. Left toes are gonna flex, hips sit back, bowing forward. Maybe your fingertips come to blocks here, or books, whatever you have. Yeah. Get that stretch in the hamstring. I'm even feeling this in my low back on my left side. So notice where you feel the sensations. Notice where you're tight, where you're loose. Maybe rolling up and down. Maybe tick-tocking the toes left and right. Make your way back to your half split. Let your toes fall over to the left. Ooh, walking our hands over to the left. I know this one is a funky one. Scissoring through the inner thighs, bowing forward. Firing up those hammies. Option to bring your hands to a block if the floor feels really far. That might be the case. And from here, walking our hands over to the right. This time our right toes are gonna fall down, or right toes are gonna pick up and come to the long side of our mat. Left toes fall down. Hands come down to the mat, forearms down to the mat. Slide your left leg over to the left. Tuck your right toes. Maybe you sit back. Maybe shift forward and back. Half broad pose here. And start to walk your hands in towards your body. Up off your forearms, making our way back around to our half split. Inhale, lengthen through your spine. Exhale, round through your spine. Inhale, breathe bend through your front knee. Walk your hands forward, tuck your back knee. Exhale, chaturanga, step back to high plank. And then flow through it at your own pace. Inhale, upward facing dog, thighs off the mat. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale through your nose, fill up. Open up, exhale, let it go. Pedal out your feet. Starting to warm up, we're about to move on to our sunbeam. Our hamstrings are a little bit looser now, so we're gonna add on. Inhale your right leg high, flex your toes. I'll tell you where we're going first. We're making our way into runner's lunge, so that's gonna bring your right foot to the outside of your right hand, but we're gonna keep our legs straight the whole time. So on our exhale, really slow, we're gonna draw a half circle, opening up through our hip nice and slow, and then seeing if we can step our foot to the outside of our right hand. From here, drop your back knee to tap, Chest lifts, chin lifts, inhale. Exhale, straighten out through your front leg, lift your hips, front toes flex. Again, like that. Shift it forward, tap your back knee, look up. And then lift your hips, straighten out your front leg, flex your front toes. Last one, shift forward, tap through your knee, look up. And then instead of straightening out your legs, you're just gonna lift your hips. So you're in low lunge proper. Your right foot should still be on the mat. Your hands are to the inside of your right foot. I'm gonna bring my left foot up a little bit for this next pose that we're getting into. All right, inhale, we're coming kind of into a standing L. So your right or your left hand is gonna stay down on the mat. You're gonna lift up to your standing L and then your right hand is gonna come out to the side. So you're opening that right arm like a T Right wing is open. Right leg is straight, slight bend in the knees. We're not locking out our joints. Left leg is long, pressing the heel to the back of the room. Lengthening through our spine and our side bodies. Option to place a block where your left hand is. Give yourself a little bit of lift here. Totally up to you. Take an inhale. Exhale, you're gonna round knee to elbow. So rounding like a cat-like spine, drawing knee into elbow, chin to chest. Squeezing through our bodies here, flexing through your left toes. And then we have a tricky transition here. Inhale, Ekapada Sadasana, one legged mountain pose. Press into your right woo, foot <laughs> as you lift up. It's not easy. Left knee is going to lift. Ekapada Sadasana. 
Ground down to the big toe of your standing foot. Flex through your lifted toes. Inhale. Exhale, figure four. Cross your left ankle over your right knee. Sit your hips down and back. Hands are going to come to heart center. Pressing sits bones towards the back of the room. Breathe here. Keep lifting your chest. And then from here, you can bring your right hand to your right hip. Peace fingers of your left hand to your left big toe. You're going to start to sit up. And maybe you stop right here. If your hammies are feeling pretty warmed up, you do have the option to straighten out your leg. Whew. Or we can do that next time. If you're feeling the wobbles like me, that's all right. Refocus. Stay where you feel confident. Pull for the last inhale. And exhale back to your figure four. Cross your ankle over your knee. Hands to heart center. Inhale, rise up. Echopotas asana. I'm getting that burning in my ankle. Sometimes it happens. We gotta kick it out. All right, making our way back to our Echopotas asana. Inhale. Exhale, air kind arm warrior three, just for your transition. So we're basically just taking a really slow transition into our airplane arm crescent lunge. So you're going to step that left foot back. Arms are going to reach high, palms facing the floor. Squeeze pinkies together, lift your palms. Chest is slightly forward, not so much that you're laying on your thigh. Back knee is straight, as straight as you can get it. Back heel is lifted. Inhale, warrior two. Arms are going to reach high and up, bending through that back front leg. Front knee stacked over your ankle. Front knee is pulling open towards your pinky toe. Back leg is long, parallel with the back of your mat as your foot. Heel to arch alignment. Front heel points directly to the arch of your back foot. Nice deep bend. Hold for that exhale. Inhale, dancing warrior. Straighten out your front leg. Palms come to touch overhead. Lengthening through your sides, keeping your hips square. And then see if you can lift your right toes off the mat. So you're just balancing on your heel. Hold for the inhale. Exhale, stand off. So now you're going to start to bend into your left knee. Use your core as you sit down into your squat. Hands come to heart center. Right toes will lift. Right quad is engaged. Inhale. Exhale, hands down to the mat. We're going to take a little forward fold. So maybe you just stay right here. If you feel like you can take it a little bit deeper in your hammy, walk those hands out. Let your head hang between your biceps. Keep that engagement in your right quad, right toes flexed. And start to walk your hands back in towards your body. Making our way back into our standasana, hands to heart, inhale. Exhale, warrior two. This is a tough one into the leg. Start to re-bend through your front knee. Back leg long. Arms reach up. Adjust your feet. Make sure you have your alignment. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Left arm slides down. Right arm reaches high and back. Hips are square. Fighting length in both sides. So try not to just crunch into that left oblique. Lift up and over. Hold through the inhale. Exhale, back to stand off awesome. Left knee bends. Hands to heart. This time we're holding, finding the balance. Inhale. Exhale, low lunge to the back of your room. So your left foot is in front now, twisting to the back. Once you find your low lunge, we're going to make our way into a modified pyramid pose on our inhale. So you're going to straighten out your front leg, and your right foot is going to step up. Right toes pivot to the right 45 degrees about. And then option to lift this left toe, drawing knee towards the nose. I told you we're doing hamstring work today. <laughs> Lots of it. Holding here for a couple breaths. Left toes are lifted. If your hips are off to the side, square them down. Option to have your hands on blocks here as well. The floor feels really far. All right, from here, you're going to keep those left toes lifted. And then on your inhale, you're going to lift up onto the ball of your back foot. So your back heel is lifted. And on your exhale, you're going to bend your right knee, sitting your hips back. So you're kind of looking flamingo-like. Sitting hips back, 
Finding your balance. Left toes stay lifted. I'm gonna scoot myself back here. Hold here for a breath. Inhale, standing splits. You're gonna rock straight into it. So we're gonna do that two more times. Breath to movement. We're gonna rock into it. Exhale, step your right foot back, bend your right knee, lift your left toes. Inhale, standing splits, rock it forward. Exhale, step it back, bend your knee, lift your front toes. And standing splits, shift it forward. Holding in your standing splits this time. Now, a standing split, different than standing L, you're gonna point your top toes, and it's okay if your hip opens a little bit on your standing split, as long as you have a really solid foundation in your left hip, that left standing leg. Maybe you bring one hand around your calf or ankle, maybe not, either way is okay. Hold for the inhale, and exhale, she a squat. Right knee is gonna come behind our left knee and over to the left of your left knee. Knee behind knee, squeeze your inner thigh, squat down low. And then see if you can bring your hand to heart center, finding your balance, lifting your chest. Hold for a breath, flex your lifted toes. Last inhale. Exhale, step your left foot back. Inhale, rise up through five-pointed star. Exhale, curl your hands all the way back to low lunge towards the front. Inhale, high plank, step your right foot back. Exhale, chaturanga. High to low plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take an inhale through your nose, fill it up. Open up, exhale, let it go, pull it down. Alrighty, getting into the other side. Inhale your left leg high. Flex your toes. Really slow and controlled, making our way into a runner's lunge, keeping that left leg straight. Flexing those toes the whole time, drawing our half circle, and then stepping our foot to the outside of our hand for runner's lunge. Drop your back knee to tap. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, lift your hips, straighten out your front leg, flex your left toes. Again, inhale, look forward. Drop your back knee, big into the hip flexor. Exhale, lift your hips, flex your front toes. Inhale, re-bend, tap your knee, chest lifts, chin lifts. Exhale, runner's lunge proper. Lifting that back knee, setting up your runner's lunge. So hands to the inside of your left foot. My right foot is gonna step up, just a moment. And then we're coming into that funny standing L. So your right hand stays down on the mat or to a block. And then we're gonna shift forward into our standing L, but our left arm is out to the side like we're flying. Right toes are flexed, right heel pressing back. Trying to get as straight as possible. Hips are rounded, squared, I mean, dialing pinky toe down. Pull through the inhale. Exhale, round it in. Knee to nose and knee to elbow. So chin tucks, rounding into a tiny little ball. We're gonna find that balance. Inhale, Akapata Tadasana. Press into your left foot as you lift. It's a tricky transition. I'm wobbly. Flexing through your lifted toe, scram down through the big toe of your standing foot. Find your drishti, your non-moving focus point. Inhale and exhale, figure four. Cross your right ankle over your left knee. Hands come to heart. Sit your hips down and back. Lengthen through your spine. Breathing here. Bring your left hand to your hip. Your right piece fingers to your big toe. Inhale, rise up. Maybe you stay right here. Maybe straighten out this front leg, either way. Hold for two breaths. And exhale, making our way back to our figure four. Slow and controlled. Hands to heart. Gotta take our squat right here. Inhale, rise up. Ekapada Tadasana. Exhale, airplane arm warrior three, just for the transition. Just for a moment. And then we're gonna step our right toes back. Airplane arm, crescent lunge. Once you step those toes back, really commit to your legs, commit to your arms, squeeze. Lift your chest just slightly up on the ball of your back foot. Deep bend in the front knee. 
Inhale, warrior two, rise up and around. Recommit to the bend in that front knee, find your heel arch alignment. Pulling front knee open towards the pinky toe, gazes forward, reaching fingers in opposite directions. Inhale, dancing warrior, straighten out through your front leg. Gaze comes up, palms come together to touch, giving that front leg a break. And then we're going to lift up onto the heel of our left foot, left toes lifted. Exhale, sitting back into our standoff snap. Hands come to heart center. It's okay if your right heel lifts. Left toe stay flexed. Engagement in that left quad. Inhale. Exhale, we're going to fold. Hands to the floor. Maybe stay right here. Walk your hands slightly to the left. Find a forward fold if that feels okay. Start to walk your hands back and towards your body. Bring your hands to your heart center for the inhale. And exhale, warrior two, rebending through the left leg, rising up strong legs. Find that alignment, make sure you're good in the legs. Reach. Inhale, reverse your warrior, right arm down, lift arm high and back, stretching through all those intercostal muscles on our left side, in between our ribs. Hips are squared, inhale. Exhale, back to stand off, now left leg straight, right knee bent. Find that balance, hands to heart. Find your engagement, inhale. And exhale, low lunge to the back. So now your hands are framing your right foot. Inhale, pyramid pose. You're gonna straighten out your front leg and lift your flex, or flex your right toes. And then you're gonna draw your left leg up. So left foot comes up, left toes pivot out to the left about 45 degrees. And just getting our stretch in here, drawing that right hip back. You can kind of set your toes down and lift them if that feels good. Make your way back into your modified pyramid. Inhale, lift your right heel off the mat and around the ball of your back foot. Exhale, bend your left knee, sit your hips back. Just keeping flex. We're in our kind of a modified flamingo. We'll get into falling flamingo later. Bend that knee, sit and hips back. And then we're gonna roll back and forth, standing splits and then back here. Inhale, roll it forward, standing splits. Point your toes, straighten your left leg. Exhale, step that left foot back, bend your knee, straighten the front leg. Inhale, standing splits, roll it forward, lift. Exhale, step it back. One more like that. Inhale, standing splits, and hold. Now from here, maybe bring one hand around your calf. Maybe not. Pointing those toes up. Really grounding down with that right foot and finding engagement in your right hip and glute. Hold for the inhale. Exhale, shape the squat. Left knee comes behind your right knee and over to the right. Flex through your right lift, left toes. And then you're going to lift your chest. Hands come to heart center. Breathe here. Sit low. Find that balance. Step your left foot back. And then inhale. Rise up. Five pointed star. Exhale. Low lunge. All the way to the front of the room. Inhale. High plank. Exhale. Chaturanga. Flow through it. Inhale. Upward facing dog. And exhale. Downward facing dog. All right, drop to your knees, wipe some sweat, have some water. We'll do a quick break, flow we flow. How's everyone feeling? You guys alive out there? Throw me a thumbs up if you're feeling okay. Throw me a heart. Let me see them. <laughs> I was thinking this was gonna be more of a flexibility, flexibility flow, um, but I'm already sweating. I'm still getting my workout in, so I hope you are too. All right, so have your last sip. All right, we're gonna flow. We're gonna add on a little bit. My feet were like killing me during that balancing part. So if yours were too, 
just give them a little massage. I usually take a flat, like a fascia blaster, that plastic knobby thing to my feet before yoga, but I didn't do it today. So if you get those burny feet, use your knuckles, massage them out. All right, let's get back into it. We're gonna flow, making our way back into our downward facing dog. We're gonna go a little bit faster. We're gonna add on a little bit as well. From down dog, take an inhale through your nose. Open up, exhale, let go. Inhale your right leg high, flex your toes. Exhale, runner's lunge, keep your right leg straight the whole time. Step your right foot outside of your right hand. Bend your front knee, tap it on the mat. Inhale, look up. Exhale, hips high, straighten out your front leg, flex your right toes. Inhale, shift forward, bend your knee, tap your left knee, look up. Exhale, runner's lunge proper. Lift your hips, step your left foot up a little bit. Inhale, coming into a standing L. So we're gonna bring our right arm out to the right. Find your balance, flex your toes. Exhale, knee to elbow, round it in, chin to chest. Inhale, Ekapada Tadasana, rise up without touching the floor. If you can, left knee comes out in front of you. Exhale, figure four, ankle over knee, hands to heart, sit down low. Right hand to hip, left toes, or left peace fingers to your big toe. Inhale, rise up. Option to stay here, option to straighten down this front leg. Option to stay here, option to bring it over to the right. Pull just for an inhale or two. And then we're making our way back to our figure four. Nice and slow and controlled, hips low, hands to heart. Inhale, rise up, Agapata Tadasana. Exhale, warrior three, just for the transition. Take it slow, find your control. Pause in your warrior three, and then set those toes down. Airplane arm crescent lunge. Inhale, warrior two, pivot your back foot, curl your arms open. Exhale, nice deep bend in that knee. Inhale, rise up, dancing warrior, and lift your right toes off the mat, on your heel here. Exhale, stand off, sna. sit back nice and low. Hold for the inhale. Exhale, warrior two, use your legs, rise up, arms out long. Inhale, reverse your warrior, left arm down, right arm high. Exhale, back to stand asana, left knee bends, hold for the inhale. Exhale, low lunge to the back, pivot around. Inhale, pyramid pose, step your right foot forward, left toes flex, right toes out to the right. Inhale, lift your right heel. Exhale, bend your right knee, sit your hips back, knee touching knee here. Inhale, roll it up, standing splits, point your toes. Exhale, step your right foot back, bend your knee, flex your left toes, lift. Inhale, rise up, standing splits. Exhale, step it back, bend your knee, lift your left toes. Inhale, standing splits and hold. Point your right toes. Exhale, Shiva squat, adding on here. Keep your hands on the mat. Reach your left hand for your right foot. Inhale, standing split, Shiva. You're gonna straighten out your left leg. And you're gonna draw your right knee up, pressing your heel away from your glute, finding that bind. Pull for the inhale. Exhale, back to Shiva squat. Right knee behind your left knee. Hands to heart this time, rise up, find your balance, inhale. Exhale, step your left foot back. Inhale, rise up through your five-pointed star. Exhale, your low lunge. Inhale, high plank, right foot back. Exhale, chaturanga, high to low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, left side, right away. Inhale, left leg high, flex your toes. Exhale, runner's lunge, keeping that left leg straight the whole time. Draw your half circle. Drop your back knee to tap, lift your chin, inhale. Exhale, hips high, straighten out your front leg, flex your left toes. Inhale, tap that knee, look up. Exhale, runner's lunge proper, lift your hips, adjust your stance. Inhale, funky standing L, come on to that left foot, lift your right heel, bring your left arm out to the side, open your wing. 
Exhale, round it in. Knee to nose. Chin to chest. Inhale, rise up. Equipada Tadasana. Use that leg. Press in the foot. Left right knee out in front of you. Exhale, figure four. Ankle over knee. Sit down low. Hips low. Hands to heart. Bring your peace fingers to your big toe. Left hand to hip. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, maybe you straighten out your front leg. This is an option. Option to bring it over to the right. Pressing out of that left hip still. Inhale. Exhale, figure four, slow and controlled. Hands to heart, take your squat. Inhale, rise up, Agapada Tadasana. Exhale, warrior three with airplane arms just for the transition. Find your warrior three, hold. And then step your right toes back, airplane arm crescent. Inhale, warrior two, pivot your back foot. Exhale, deepen into that front knee. Inhale, rise up, dancing warrior. Lift your left toes off the mat. Exhale, stand on keeping hands to heart this time. Engage, inhale. Exhale, warrior two, shifting forward, arms long. Inhale, reverse your warrior, right arm down, left arm high and back. And exhale, crop your hands down. Nope. <laughs> inhale, reverse warrior, exhale, back to stand on Hands to heart, straighten out your left leg, bend your right knee, inhale. And exhale, low lunge to the front, or to the back rather. So you're framing your right foot. Inhale, pyramid pose, straighten out your front leg, flex your front toes. Walk your left foot in and pivot your left toes over to the left, just a little bit. Inhale, come up onto the ball of your back foot. Exhale, bend your knees, sit your hips back. Inhale, standing splits, roll it forward, point your left toes up to the sky. Exhale, step that left foot back, bend your knee, right leg long, flex your toes. Inhale, roll it forward, standing splits. Exhale, step it back, bend your back knee. Last time, inhale, standing splits and hold. Exhale, Shiva squat, left knee behind your right knee, over to the right. Reach your right hand for your left foot. Inhale, standing split, Shiva. Start to straighten out your front leg. Grab your foot and then lift your left knee so it's pointing up towards the sky. Try to kick your heel away from your glute into your hand. Hold for the inhale. Exhale, back to Shiva squat. Hands come to heart center. Hold for a breath, inhale. Exhale, step your left toes back. Inhale, up through Bhagavad Gita star. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, high plank, step your left foot back. Exhale, chaturanga, high to low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale through your nose. Open mouth, exhale. Inhale, shift forward, high plank, getting straight into core. Exhale, forearm plank. Forearms down to the mat. We're gonna take our hip dips. We're gonna dip right center. Left, center, right, center, left, center. Option to take your knees here. You can go as slow as fast as you want, but I want you to really dip those hips. Getting into the obliques. Shh. Open out exhales are really good for core. Here for five. Shh. Four. Shh. Three. Shh. Two. One on each side, finish it up. Come back to your plank, hold. Just 15 seconds here, let your body shake. Pull your low belly up and in. To our bellies in four, three, two, one. Lower down. Woo, how we feeling? Feeling good? All right, getting into a little bit more core. And the good news is we're mostly done with our flow. So all we have after this is just three peak postures on each side. All right, back into our core. We're getting into belly down core. So we're gonna come into back extension. So our arms are coming out to a cactus. We're long, we're gonna take an inhale. Exhale, you're gonna lift, squeeze your shoulder blades, lift your toes. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift, lower. For an added challenge, you're gonna lift straight on your arms. 
Lift, straighten out your arms. For eight. Five. Four. Three. Two. One and hold. Pulse for eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Hands down to the mat. Press up. Coming onto our backs. Make our way onto our backs for the rest of core. Gonna bring your knees up to 90. Hands behind your head. We're gonna take bicycle crunches. You're gonna send your right leg long. Draw your right shoulder towards your left knee. Inhale, center. Exhale, opposite side. Try to lean with your shoulder instead of your tricep. Shh. Or instead of your elbow. Shh. 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 Slow or fast, up to you. Option to straighten out your legs for another challenge. Shh. 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 For eight. Shh. Shh. Seven. Shh. Shh. Six. Shh. Shh. Five. Shh. Shh. Four. Shh. Shh. Three. Shh. Shh. Two. Shh. Shh. One. Shh. Keep your legs up in the air, hands down by your sides. I like to put my thumbs underneath my hips. Hold here. Lower down to hover, five or six inches above the mat. Pressing your low back into the mat. Start to pulse, pulse. Shh, 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 shh. Here for eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one, full body stretch. Woo. Really nice work, you guys. Got a little, got to get a little core blast in. Whew. Tell me if you got enough core, give me a thumbs up. If you want more core, we can keep going. Tell me how you're feeling. <sighs> All right, I'm seeing some thumbs up. So I'm thinking that you've had enough core. Start to rock and roll. Maybe you touch your toes towards the back of the room. Maybe not. Either way, whatever feels best, roll up into a seat. All right, so now we have our peak postures. We have splits, we have fallen flamingo, and we have a flying figure four. And these are all optional, of course. So we're gonna work into the hips a little bit more. So you're gonna sit back and you're gonna find a figure four, crossing your right ankle over your left knee. Hands can come behind you, and then you're just gonna pivot left and right. Just opening up through the hips, getting a little more flexibility in there. And come back to center, switch it out. Left ankle comes over your right knee. And switch out right and left. All right. Coming back to your seat. Bring your hands to heart center. Close your eyes. Gather your last bit of strength and motivation. Take an inhale. Open up, exhale. Inhale, plank up. Start to roll over your knees, over your ankles, making our way back to our downward facing dog. From downward facing dog, walk your feet in, roll up to standing. All right, coming to a figure four on our right side. Now, the figure four inversion, I'm not the best at it. So I'm gonna show you where to go. I might not have the perfect alignment, it's something that I'm still working on. So we will work on it together. Option to use your blocks where your hands go, but I always feel like once I get into an inversion on my blocks, um, you're really far from the floor and it's just a little bit scary. So we're gonna go traditional, but if you wanna use your blocks, you can. Bring our right leg up first, crossing our right ankle over our left knee, starting in our figure four. 
From here, you're going to bring your hands down to the mat. So you need hamstrings and hips. You're going to walk your hands forward. And you're going to bend your knee, or your uh, elbows rather, like you're doing chata around the arms. And then you're going to get your knee up onto your tricep, hooking your right toes around your left tricep. Maybe you lift your heel or your toes off the mat. Maybe not. Pressing into your fingertips, really gathering, and then make your way back up to a figure four. Inhale like a pata. And exhale, right foot down. All right, we're coming straight into a pyramid pose. So for pyramid, your right leg is out in front of you. Your left toes are pivoted out to the left. Now you may or may not want your blocks here. We'll try both, see how it goes. So from your pyramid, to get in, we're getting into uh, fallen flamingo. You're gonna, another pose that I'm not the best at. So I'll tell you how to get there, but again, I'm still working on it. So you're gonna lift your right toes, just like we were doing before. Lift your back heel, bend your back knee. Now we're reaching our fingers back. Maybe you stay right here. This is enough. Maybe you see if you can get those left toes off the mat for fall and flamingo. Really sitting your hips back, weight in your fingertips. Maybe you lift for a second, maybe not. Whew. Either way is okay. Drop that left foot down, and then make your way into your low lunge. From here, we're gonna get into our splits. So back knee is on the mat. Front leg is gonna heel toe forward, coming into our splits. Options here, you can bring your hands to your blocks or your books. You can bring one hand to each block, or you can put your blocks underneath your front hamstring. Bring your hands to your hips. Trying to square hips, we need hips and hammies for splits. So find whatever's comfortable. Breathe here. Last breath. And we'll come on out of it. Rebending through our knee, meeting in low lunge. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, let your heels look up. Exhale, walk your heels, bend your feet forward. Slight bend in your knees. Inhale, rise up. All right, stepping back to the center of our mat, getting into our figure four on the other side. Right foot is the foundation this time. Left ankle is gonna cross over your right knee as you sit down and back into your figure four. Hold here. Find your forward fold. Maybe you stay right here. Staying right here is fine. Bending and straightening your knee. Maybe you walk your hands out. Bending through your elbows. Get your knee up, up onto your tricep. Toes hook around your other arm. Lifting your right toes off the mat. Maybe, maybe you just stay right here. Either way is okay. And then we're gonna make our way back into our figure four. As elegantly as we can. Inhale like a puff. And exhale, foot down, hands by your side. Kick out your knees, roll out your ankles. And then we'll make our way into our pyramid pose. Left leg is forward, right leg is back. Right toes are pivoting out to the right. From here, you're gonna lift up your left toes. Lift onto the ball of your back foot. Bend your back knee, and then reach your fingers back. Option to stay right here. Maybe, just maybe, you start to lift your heel up towards your glute. Leaning back as much as you can. Just an option. I have to shift forward to lift that foot, but I'm working on it. So work on sitting your hips back, maybe lifting the heel. You have to shift forward a little bit to lift. Do it and then see how much you can sit back. Lay your toes down and then we're gonna come straight into our splits. Dropping your back knee. Shifting that front leg forward. Making our way into our splits. Find your blocks. This side for me is a lot different than my other side. So if it's that way for you too, that's all right. Let's use our props wherever we can. Hands to blocks, maybe blocks underneath your thigh, underneath your hamstring rather. Try to square your hips. Breathing here. Last 
breath. Let's make our way back into our little lunge. Rebend through your front leg. Ditch your blocks. Tuck your back toes. Lift your back knee. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, shot around the last one of the day. Inhale, upper facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, your right leg high. Exhale, half pigeon. Right knee comes forward. Right foot comes towards your left hand. Hips are square. You have a lot of lift in this hip, slide a block underneath. This feels okay. Inhale, find a little baby back bend. Exhale, sleeping pigeon. Crawl your hands forward. Forehead can come to a block. Come to your mat, whatever you want. Find those nice long breaths. Start to lift your chest, find your palms, tuck your back toes, inhale, three-legged dog, your right leg comes high, exhale, bend your knee, open up your hip, take big circles in one direction, big circles in the other direction, option to flip your dog if that's in your practice, bringing your right toes around, lifting your hips high, reaching your fingers towards the front, inhale, and exhale, back to downward facing dog, inhale, left leg high, Exhale, half pigeon. Draw your left knee forward. Untuck your back toes. Bring your fingertips out in front of you. Option for a block underneath this hip. Inhale, little baby back bend. Exhale, sleeping pigeon. Roll it forward. Forehead down to the mat or to your block. Breathe here. Start to bring your hands underneath your shoulders, press up, lift your chest, tuck your back toes. Inhale, three-legged dog, left leg lifts. Exhale, bend your knee, open up your hip. Big circles in one direction, big circles in the other. Option to flip your dog if you did on the other side, all the way around. Left toes to the mat, hips up, fingers forward. Slight bend in that right elbow so we're not locking out our joints, inhale. Exhale, hands to the mat, flip back around to downward facing dog. Drop to your knees. All right, we're running out of time. I have a restorative to teach right after this. So I'm gonna get you into Savasana and I'm gonna grab the bowls. Um, if there's any final stretches you wanna take, any supine twists, any uh, happy babies, uh, forward folds, anything like that, go ahead and get into them now as I grab the bowls and then we'll do a little sound bath for Savasana. Biceps down around your elbows, 
into your forearms and your wrists, making its way around the palms of your hands and into each of your fingers. You might even start to feel a little tingling sensation in your fingertips. Try to grow that sensation. Come back into your breath, making it normal, not slowing it down or speeding it up, just letting it be. And send that relaxed flow of energy down around your belly, your hips, your glutes, through your quads, your hamstrings, around your knees, around your shins and calves and ankles, through the soles of your feet and into your toes until you're filled with this relaxed sensation, this peaceful state of mind and body. You've done all of the work. Now it's time to relax, absorb the healing power of yoga. I'm gonna play the bowls and I will call you out when it's time.
great. Thank you, yogis. I hope you're feeling really good in our hips and hamstring practice today. Um, I'll be back with you. Well, I'm teaching a restorative class right after this. So if you want to stretch it out after that workout, then just keep tuning in. I'm just going to grab some props and we'll get right into restorative. Um, next Wednesday at the same time, I'm either going to teach a power flow or a yoga strong class. So yoga strong is yoga with weights. So comment below, let me know if you prefer yoga strong or if you prefer power flow. I'm thinking about kind of switching it up, going back and forth, but if everyone prefers one or the other, then I'm happy to stick with one or the other. So send me a comment, let me know your preference, and I will see you next week. And maybe I'll see you on your mats in just a minute. Hope you're having a really good day and I will see you soon.